Well, hello there, guys. Hello, hello. <sighs> Welcome back to the Big Fat Psychic channel. I'm so pleased to be uh, reading for you again today. Uh, I think you were all wonderful, you know, absolutely. Uh, your comments come in thick and fast. Uh, love them. Uh, I try and give everybody a heart, uh, and sometimes it's uh, delayed by a few hours or, or 12 hours, depending on where you are. Uh, but, you know, and your emails as well. Uh, I am, I've received quite a lot in the last couple of weeks, so I'm just trolling through uh, them now. Uh, I just want to shout out to uh, Arlene. Arlene, hello. Uh, I hope you're okay and you, you're doing well. All right. Uh, I just thought I'd mention you because you've been in my thoughts uh, recently. Uh, so uh, send me a comment or something if you're uh, you're still uh, loving the channel. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I just she was in my thoughts. So uh, I don't know why it happens, uh, but yeah, bless. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I mean, God, look at this channel now. Eh? Uh, that funniest moments. Oh my God, uh, I had somebody do it for me. Obviously, our moderator uh, Anita was uh, helping me with all the behind stuff that is so important to you yeah, to access uh, what what you want, such as the. Uh, time stamps for uh, particular questions that I've asked uh, you know just making it really easy for you uh, to, to navigate so uh, so yeah brilliant okay uh, oh I'll just look forward to the next ones but we won't do them too often because we'll build them up but yeah I, I have to say <laughs> I am quite funny sometimes and it's the least unexpected uh, things that make me giggle. So, uh, yeah, uh, I, I had to laugh myself. I just pretended it was somebody else I was listening to. Uh, but, yeah, that poem, I absolutely love that poem. That that poem should have made it into uh, the, the mail. <laughs> oh, jeez. Anyway, thank you all uh, new subscribers. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, you're just making uh, my channel uh, grow and grow and grow. So please tell your friends, you know, because I, I don't need... Uh, to keep building uh, the the numbers up, uh, just so that you know uh, I can justify it to my husband why you know I spend so many hours a week <laughs> doing this channel. Uh, he's open to retire, uh, you know, shortly. So when I get my subs, oh well, it started off when I said uh, when I get a thousand, you can think about uh, leaving. <laughs> I'm like nearly 1300 and he's going nowhere. I suppose when I get to about I don't know, 80,000 uh, subs, I'll be all right. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I'll be able to read uh, for you from, uh, you know, Hawaii or wherever I choose to go. Okay. Oh, I love summer holidays, don't you? Uh, bloody hell, what a time to start your garden, big fat psychic. Oh my God, you're going to have missed summer by the time. <laughs> You get this uh, this uh, garden finished. So anyway, I'll just tell you something a little bit funny. Oh, sh embarrassing, really. But so I bought some pavers uh, and I bought them online. Anyway, you know, I have to say, two foot by three foot look quite small on the uh, <laughs> online on the screen on that picture. Uh, anyway, when they signed up, I was uh, far short. So I've been ringing this company uh, every week. Uh, same way as me uh, pavers. Uh, and they was looking into it and then they was getting somebody to deliver it and then this, then that, then the other. Anyway, finally, I mean, I didn't have a go at the uh, person neither because if you want something out of somebody, uh, don't be shitty with them on the phone, you know, because all of a sudden, you know, you get cut off. Uh, but anyway, yes, yeah, so I won't share it with him. I was quite, I was, all right, I was just pleasant, really. And uh, so this guy turned up yesterday to bring these four papers and he said, how many papers? Pavers, did you order? So I said 30. He went, well, there's 30 there. So I looked and I said, well, I'm sorry, I only counted 26. Anyway, it turns out on the top pile, God, I didn't even notice, on the top pile, okay, there was two lots of two B3s side by side. And for some reason, I thought there was a full towel, a full paper. <laughs> oh, my God, I was horrified. I thought my husband's going, they'll bill you, they'll bill you. And I was like to this guy, oh, I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry. I mean, he'd come all this way from Manchester <laughs> just to give me four papers. Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's what I'm like. It absolutely sums me up. Okay. So, yeah, uh, going back to uh, subscribers, uh, I'm... I'm so pleased with how the live shows are going. Uh, I'm looking into Australia and America, so please uh, email me. Uh, you know what times uh, are suitable for you. I've got quite a large following in uh, the states and Australia, 
uh, and I love Australia they've got a right good sense of humor and they say it how it is uh, so yeah just let me know what times uh, I mean I can't say I'll do it for that time but at least it'll give me uh, a very good idea uh, of when to do it so uh, Sonny comment me the sun can go live on uh, you know Australia and America and I know there's a big difference in time as well uh, so okay uh, staying tuned is coming out uh, it's number five it'll be out this week uh, for those of you that don't know it's just a, a bit of a classical music every now and again i think i'm john barry <gasps> you know co composing you know and Tchaikovsky, whatever his name is you know uh, and so i tend to do it when i'm cleaning as well because it just bumps me right up uh, also uh, to mention uh, this song a day uh, people are loving that as well it's all about feeding that brain of yours because our brains can be stupid okay uh, they think the wrong things uh, you know they overwork uh, oh i'm just scratching my foot yeah uh, so you know it's it's just all about feeding that brain so even if you're not truly listening it will seep in just play it play it play it i went from a morning uh, a, a day uh, and now it's just uh, 10 minutes and actually i don't even need it all that time but it's something that's seeping into your subconsciousness and it absolutely bloody works okay uh, and uh yeah so oh I just think, uh, yeah, that's it, isn't it? That's it. That's where we are. That's her housekeeping done. So uh, thank you to uh, Anita for another uh, wonderful uh, snippet uh, of my best bits. Uh, and uh, thank you, subscribers. So let's get on with it. Okay, so when I was doing a live show, uh, I'm sure she won't mind me saying her name, uh, my, my friend Rose Gregory uh, asked me, was Meghan and Harry... Uh, do, you know, did Harry want out and, and this, that and the other and get a divorce? Well, lo and behold, uh, and don't forget, I only have seconds to sort of like go from one reading card to to another. So, um, like, I saw the Eight of Cups and I thought, oh, yeah, I got real excited because that's what you want him to. You want him to split up and uh, him to return. Anyway, uh, about after I'd done the show, I always uh, sit for 45 minutes uh, and... Uh, just like I don't look at what I've done I never look at the videos I never uh if I did I wouldn't put them up <laughs> but anyway uh, yeah so I was thinking about it and everything goes against that everything goes uh, against it and I'm wondering now if I've interpreted it wrongly because when I'm reading for you guys okay I'm always seeing the 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 positive and, and the negative okay for the answer and somewhere in between is uh the truth for you uh but uh with megan and harry it's I, i've become like a machine with them you know it just uh just you just say what you see do you know what i mean and i did see uh, a, a divorce and separation but i'm wondering if it was uh him turning his back on the monarchy because at the end of the day uh you know I, I, I was thinking, he, he can't come back. We hate him. We absolutely hate him. Do you think we'd love him if he came back divorced? No, we'd go, you pathetic crawling git. Uh, you know, you've only come here at home now because you've got nothing else. He'd get all that, he would. And also, as well, the personality types with them, uh, you know, they are... Sorry, but I'm going to cover this in a, a reading, no doubt, so I just want to point it out to you. But these two can only behave so bad together. They can't do that bad with anybody else, you know. So this is what would uh, strengthen their relationship. Weirdly, absolutely uh, weirdly. But Megan can have a tantrum and storm and throw things and fight. And so can Harry. He can take drugs. He can go out. He, he can stay out all night. You know, he, they can only do that to each other in that relationship because with anybody else or anybody saying, uh, it, it would be a no-go, you know, not on. You'd get your strike, you know. So I'm going to do Harry. Does Harry uh, love Meghan? And I suspect, you know, it's, uh, well, I'm just going to let the cards uh, do the bit because you never know, do you? You never bloody know. That's why people catch me on the spot and go oh can you tell me so and so i just prefer a card to you know to link into an image and if i ain't got a card you know i read people's clothing or you know uh something because i need 
I don't know. That's how it works. That's how it, it works. I'm sure if I was blind, it would be something I hear. Uh, but, you know. Anyway, so let's see. Yeah, because I, I haven't got on being over just yet, you know. I haven't. I've got more storms uh, coming. Terrible things. He can't keep his mouth shut till uh, next July or October. Bloody cat. Okay. Does Harry love Megan? I'm getting a yes. Oh, yes, and he's about to declare his love for her. Yes, and the both uh, teaming up well. Uh, he loves her, the busy, he loves her life. Uh, you know, he's happy. He's absolutely uh, happy. Just going to check this out. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, he, he's happy. He's absolutely uh, happy. It's going great guns. That's what I, I keep hearing. Going great guns, uh you know, uh, and he's busy, he's organising something for her. Uh, I've just discovered the, uh, I think it was yesterday or the day before, it's a bloody birthday. I just don't know. Uh, well, we did see a cake, didn't we? So, uh, I, and I have to be truthful, uh, I saw a headline this morning saying that he, he buys a, 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 he's bought her a, a, a massive cake or something, or an expensive one. So we did say he would uh, be organising a cake or baking it even. Uh, so you probably have uh, buying one option, then a the, uh, news flash in. She's baking it and with Archie and Lilibet. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, it's just run and run and run because they just make anything out of nothing. It's very happy, guys, you know. It is very, very happy. I... I I think it's what, you know, he, he's bent all his bridges here. He's bent all his bridges. But let's say this could change, you know. Uh, maybe we're looking for great news that he's splitting up from her. Do you know what? At the end of the day, right, I, I don't want, I won't want this guy to be lonely. Just like a friend of mine or any family member, you know, uh, if we have to put up with uh, somebody who uh, irritates us, so be it because you have to, to look, don't you? Uh, at, at people around you and you think well I just want them to be happy so uh, you know so I kind of uh, yeah oh what I don't know what's coming in two, two weeks no eight weeks eight weeks some form of uh, travel oh Jesus don't say it's a uh, travel list I've got loads uh, of travel I'm seeing loads of airplanes okay well, it can't be Manchester Airport because hardly anybody's been flying. So, you know, but I am seeing a uh, plane. So is there a story coming out there in a, within eight weeks uh, about, about planes? Oh, I've just got something else as well. Expenses. Expenses have popped into my head. Probably nothing to do with uh, his love for her. But, you know, we're linked in now, so that's how it is. Okay, uh, so... What does Harry see uh, as uh, the, his problem, you know, any problems with Meghan? What what does he see as uh, Meghan's problems, issues? She's got daddy issues. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, I nearly coughed at me on the air. <coughs> Okay, so, you know, she's failed to deliver. She's, uh, again, you know, she's a fire starter. Uh, but she never gets anywhere, does she? You know, so uh, it's all hot air. In actual fact, he feels that, you know, he's, uh, like, the important one because people want Harry. People want Harry. So he has got uh, quite a, an ego. Uh, oh, I, can't, I can't stand people with egos, you know. It's all right to... Uh, big yourself up every now and again but oh no not 24 hours a day uh you know uh, I, I couldn't i couldn't cope with that could you so uh yeah so i've and she's reckless she's reckless uh she spends too much money uh, you know but she's never had it so <clears throat> she's never had it has she i mean i know she was in that suit but uh 
yeah oh jesus no she's uh yeah she's getting uh she takes too many risks she drops out of things last minute you know she uh she turns down uh good opportunities because of her own spite you know uh what else I, I just think she thinks she knows it all, you know, and I do know that uh, thing, but she, she is dropping out of something. So, you know, I know she's uh, she's not reliable at all, uh, you know, and she she's irresponsible with money. Uh, they haven't got the money coming in. She keeps promising, well, if you do this and do that. But in actual fact, you know, I mean, oh, my God, right. With Kate and William, everything is precision. Uh, precision precision okay precision that's it uh so uh i have to wonder who is running the show with uh megan and harry it must be uh them both because i'm telling you now i don't see uh oh they, they don't listen you know what's the point in uh, paying somebody when you don't listen to to the advice so anyway yeah i'm glad i'm glad it'll be money do, do you know what money in that relationship money and when they ain't any she'll be off somewhere else how does uh you know how does uh megan influence uh harry how does megan you know influence him how does she persuade him oh if i get the devil card it's bondage <gasps> let's have a look let's have a look let's have a look how does Megan influence Harry? Oh my good God! Oh my God! Look what I picked! Did you see that, guys? Oh my God! Oh my bloody God! It's bondage! Oh my God! Uh, he's a submissive type and she's overpowering him. Yeah, she wouldn't be a uh, sub, would she? Oh my God! Can you imagine that? I've just said that and it's come up. I can't believe myself. I really can't. <gasps> Jesus, Jesus. Yeah, he's a sub. Uh, it, that's what he likes. He, he likes uh, a, a bit of the stick, uh, a, a bit of the whip. Oh, my God, don't let me picture it, please. Take those images out from my mind. <gasps> Him on his knees with a, a, a gag ball. I've only seen it on telly. It's not to do with my personal choice <laughs> at all. <gasps> but uh, I just want to make that clear. Yeah, uh, he, he, he likes it. He likes uh, being called uh, derogatory names uh, as well. You know, uh, she has that power over him. She absolutely uh, has that power. And then when they're not in the bedroom, she's still pretty crazy uh, in in the household. You know, uh, and, and will be. She's a she's a bully. You know, she is a, a bully. Totally unhealthy. Uh, she won't listen to him. She's very very angry. Where where does this anger come from? It's not real, you know. The problem is with somebody who's got a personality disorder. Okay, uh, and they don't know it. Or refuse to listen uh, that anger can rage but it's an anger that is born in your own mind okay it's not reality uh, and it takes a lot of work to to be able to see that and push through and, and trust it you know oh my god that was so funny i think that should go on the uh next uh big fast high kicks <gasps> funniest moments i can't believe i said that i swear to god <gasps> jesus that's better than the birthday one isn't it uh, valentine's <sighs> oh my god it's uh jesus <gasps> right then okay oh i've lost my uh i've lost my uh my uh throw there <gasps> floor throw Oh jeez. Okay. Uh so okay. Um so what what do I want to ask next then? So from Harry's point of view, uh, you know, what does he see uh, uh, as the reason why Megan uh, behaves so uh, uh violently, spiteful, etc. Why does she behave like that? What what does he think uh, the problem is? Because she's unhappy, she's unhappy with the family, you know, I mean, that's not the royal family, by the way, okay, so she's not happy with her own family, a uh, 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 dad and a uh, sister, she's always making uh, excuses uh, for this anger, you know, so that it can fuel, because I've, t I've said before on uh, a few readings, you know, when you're angry, you will 
push through like a bulldozer uh, uh, and not care. Uh, when you're not angry, you, you tend to be more reasonable uh, and logical and uh, practical. Yeah. Uh, so you know, yeah, it, it's uh, she's not happy at, at home. She's not happy being at home. You know, working. So she says from home. You know, she she can't identify. She doesn't even feel like she's a, a mother. Well, that would be right, Megan, because you are not. <gasps> you know, uh, well, not not for the birth anyway. But yeah, uh, she's just not happy. She, it's not enough. It's not enough. Uh, she needs. Uh, you know. She'll never have peace. She doesn't know how to thrive in peace. Everything's always got to be uh, schemed and, and in conflict. It's the only way that she knows, you know. Yeah, I'm not softening to her uh, at all. At all, you know. Vi Queen Victoria should have, brought, you know, kept the guillotine. Uh, but, you know, and treason. Oh, my God, why aren't these people done? Uh, so, yeah, she's not happy. She's not happy with anything. She's not happy with her family. She's not happy with her own family, her kids and Harry. And she's not happy with anybody else. Because she can't, you know, why is it that she doesn't feel good enough? Ah. Uh, and it's all right wallowing in self-pity, uh, saying, oh, you know, when I was a child, when I was a child, it was so bad, my dad was awful. <sighs> yeah, it, it, do you know what? I think the problem is that uh, her dad didn't say no, you know. He created a, a, a monster as well by filling her up with all this self-importance. And then, you know, can you imagine her expectations uh, from a child and reaching adulthood? She just feels like, I mean, you know, if so, there's the difference between determination to to be something or get somewhere, uh, then uh, how how she's been, uh, you know, doing it. It's it's more as is bordering on uh, obsession. What does oh this will be interesting then? So you know, what does uh, Harry uh, make of Meghan's past because? He must have a, a hand in removing all these stories off the internet, uh, you know, uh, uh, and uh, saying things. But then again, we know she's a liar, don't we? We know she's a liar uh, uh, and can lie uh, to your face, uh, to, to anybody, you know, because it's her truth, her truth. <gasps> oh, my God. Let's see that, uh, you know, used in the mail on Sunday or the mail uh, court case coming up. So, you know. Yeah, what does uh, Harry uh, think about her past? Do you know what? I, I remember a couple of boys that I met in, in my life, like, I don't know, late teens, uh, early 20s. And the first thing they'd say to you is, oh, I've had a terrible life. And I'm like, really? <laughs> really? I, I couldn't be done with anybody else's sob story. I've got a friggin' enough of my own. Uh, you know, but it's, do you know what, that, why they do that? They do it to justify their bad behaviour because they're a screw up and they know it. Okay, so, uh, you know, yeah, what does Harry know about her past? Well, you know, uh, it, it, he knows that she was never happy. She always wanted her own way. She was an attention seeker and would do anything. So attention seeking to me means that she, he knows she tipped off uh, the, the cameras because she's doing it all the time. So if somebody's doing something uh, frequently, uh, in present and future, you can determine that they've done that in the past as well. So he does know. Uh, he, he does know. He, he feels it's important to make her happy, but she's never going to be happy. She can't be happy, you know. Uh, she, she's got something wrong with her thought processes, which need to, to be worked on. So she'll she'd struggle. She's going to struggle, and eventually she'll burn out, uh, you know. Uh, but, yeah, so, uh, and she, you know, when she can't get her own way, when she can't get her own way, she's, uh, you know, she becomes uh, nasty uh, and abusive, uh, very abusive, especially verbally, always putting him down and uh, trying to just make herself feel better. I couldn't live with myself. I, I couldn't live with myself if that was happening. If I was doing that to somebody, no, 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 no. I couldn't live with myself. I'd be utterly uh, uh, ashamed. Okay, uh, so what does Harry see as the future for him and Megzy Daisy? Uh, 
more, more uh, criticism, uh, you know, seven of wands there. I'm not sure if I've been showing you the cards. I think I have. Uh, yeah, uh, sh you know, uh, very defensive. So, you know, they'll be taking action against somebody. Uh, you know, they're, they're going to get uh, bad reviews on stuff. He, he knows uh, this. He's been on his guard. Uh, what else? Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what he does, he'll always be uh, criticised. So that's the way he sees it for him and Megan. Uh, we're going to get criticised, so we might as well do it. He's got something coming out then, hasn't he? He's got something coming out and fast. Uh, I'm not going to guess what it is because every time I do, <laughs> it could be something else, uh, you know. But we do know he's uh, got a book due out, which I think uh, something is going on for October. Uh, it, it's big, it's big. So, you know, um, maybe the first book doesn't do so well, you know. I, I've got some, uh, you know, him being criticised. But, you know, I think, uh, right, so Harry believes everybody in the world loves him and he's the one, you know, God's gift of uh, all royals. However, we think he's, uh, you know, just a, a nomad, a, a nomad, a, a, a sod, a bugger, a, a, a lousy, lousy son, uh, you know. Uh, all those are slam, slang, by the way, uh, for the Americans who do thing. They all mean the same, shite. Uh, so yeah, we we don't love him anymore, but there are people that do. Okay, so th there are. So there will be uh, like all the sugars uh, uh, and everybody uh, buying a, a a book. And it seems to me as well, just jumping on that point, <laughs> seems to be if you did right. So if a uh, 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 Megan uh, critic uh, criticizes, uh, you know, we're evil, but likewise if a sugar disagrees with us uh i've noticed that they get automatically branded uh, a, a sugar so i think we've got some real sugars and we've you know uh, and we've got some sugars that don't exist it was terminology i think uh, used uh you know uh oh my god yeah but yeah so i don't not everyone's a sugar and you can still you know make your point on here you can still make your point you can still disagree uh you know you're in a safe uh, space to, to do so so you know uh yeah okay uh let's have a look then so we've got the future yes yeah, so he feels he's gonna be uh you know he's got some coming out that if he is is uh could be another film Oh, but like program another documentary you know probably the same time as williams f shot prize uh you know and that was funny as well we mentioned something with william didn't we uh going uh doing f shot well i didn't say f shot though i said it, the planet anyway enough of that we're digressing okay so uh right what's uh what's harry's attitude uh to, to megan Aside from the fact that he wants, to, I'm still screaming inside about the devil card. Oh my god, I have that uh, shirt. <coughs> well, I, I think he's telling her he doesn't want to, uh, you know, he's either he's like giving some up for a short time on a voluntary basis. Uh, that's what I feel. I feel like he, he, you know, he wants to withdraw and not have so much uh, attention uh, and stories going out, which contradicts why, you know, it would be writing a, a freaking book. But I also feel uh, as well, do you know what? It must have been affected by that HBO uh, cartoon. Uh, but I'm telling you, uh, I'll do a reading on it, but I think you know what I'm going to say. Um, so, yeah, oh, Jesus. So he's, he's as well. I think he's gonna uh, pull out. So he's not going to return to the UK. Maybe in September uh, for for Diana's uh, memorial. He's pulling out of something. Harry's lazy uh, as well. He's very very lazy. He won't want to be uh, working all hours and, and this, that and other. Do you know what? Do you know what I think? I think they uh, give it like seven months, eight months and then think he'll forget about it. But we don't. You know, regarding that job uh, that he's supposed to be having uh, and going to the office once a week and then spend three days working from home. <gasps> How awful. 
Okay, uh, so, you know, what's Harry's home life like at the moment with Megan? It could feel like she's, uh, you know, doing shaded deals with people, uh, getting himself in there. Uh, Involved with uh, groups, you know, uh, that he doesn't trust. So, I mean, give him a little tiny, tiny morsel of credit, uh, you know. Uh, uh, yeah, I feel like uh, it's quite toxic. And it feels like uh, Megan's talking behind his back about stuff or organising uh, stuff uh, as well. Uh, so, yeah, he's getting that he doesn't trust uh, the, the situation, uh, doesn't like it, um, and do you know what? He's still got no freedom. That finding freedom. <laughs> you just lost it, haven't you, love? Uh, yeah, uh, you know, he's, he's, he can't find the bloody uh, freedom. He's, I'm not sure that he's happy uh, about finding freedom. Uh, so, uh, or two, two and a half and a three and a three and a half. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I, I don't think he's too happy uh, with that. He's got no one on his side that he can really, really trust. He said, doggy, doggy, world when you're a, a celebrity. Yeah, he, he could also be uh, paranoid uh, as well and thinking that the uh, royal family can't be trusted, uh, you know, uh, that they'll reveal uh, stuff. It's obviously got him uh, quite worried, okay, uh, and uh, as well. Have has somebody uh, tried to push him uh, down? And now I know this. I did a reading on the Queen and William, and they absolutely believe that Harry's life is in danger. So is it Harry not listening? Because I've got another uh, video that I did uh, the other day, uh, and it's uh, it's still still okay to to use. So I'm gonna put that. But in his spread, I get that. Being aware of any danger, you know, apart from the obvious uh, trolls uh, uh, and what have you, uh, you know, so uh, again, it was all fabricated, all fabricated, because when you read for somebody, it tells you the truth about them. When you read for somebody else, it can tell you the truth about what they believe, what they've been informed. And I think it was, a, a you know, like a another pull on the heartstrings and another form of uh, manipulation. He is, he's becoming more paranoid uh, about the royal family. This is why he won't go back. So I think when uh, I pulled that card and said, you know, his divorce, uh, you know, separated, he's divorced himself from the royal family, okay? There is no way back for him. In all my readings, I've always got Playboy Harry, uh, you know, living it up uh, in La La Land, uh, you know, with them all. Oh, he might even hang out with Britney Spears. <gasps> Jesus. <gasps> Okay, uh, so that's his uh, environment. What does Harry hurt for in uh, the future with Megan? What does he hurt for with Megan? It can only be about money. Oh uh, no, he, he hopes uh, she she stops uh, ceases to you know stop competing uh, with everybody. Uh, you know, uh, it's not just uh, the royals, was it? It was a friend, Jess. It was uh, that she's had a few uh, that I've gone back. Nina Pricky, whatever her name is. Uh, you know, she's always uh, trying to outdo people. You know, uh, and still anybody's fun I mean, she didn't even leave the child untouched, did she? You know, uh, I don't know if it was Charlotte's birthday or Louis's birthday or George's birthday. Uh, but, you know, she was always, always trying to, to do some. And he wants her, her to stop arguing as well. The last five weeks have been unbearable. Uh, you know, it's just been on and on and on at each other. Can't get over bondage. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How, how the hell could that come out? <laughs> okay. Uh, right. Jeez. What does he fear? What does uh, Harry fear uh, about Megan? Well, the end result is she won't let him, uh, she'll be, he'll be penniless or, you know, ha a few pennies down uh, and she, she won't let him see the children. She'd let, she'd uh, block him. She would. She'd absolutely uh, block him out of spite. You you know, she's she's just one of them and she, you can see it in my life. But do you know what? She'd be, de de you know, it's better to have uh, two parents that love the child than one bitter uh, parent with the child.
Okay, so uh, yeah, what does he fear uh, about Megan? What does he fear about Megan? Do you know, um, Harry's still dealing with his feelings. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, it's seriously unhappy. It's been going on. It's creeping in. Uh, and now I, I know sometimes uh, when you're in a relationship, uh, you know, after a while, once that uh, discontent, uh, set, you know, sets in, well, it's the end, really. It might take a few years. Uh, it could be a few days or a few months. It depends how strong you are in your mind. Uh, but, you know, uh, uh, and he wants her to get help. Because <laughs> he's had so much therapy. It's, uh, you know, uh, what is it? A success? I don't think so. <laughs> I was waiting for another word for him to put in my head. Uh, yeah, uh, it's hardly been uh, successful, has it, Harry? I wouldn't recommend the same shrink. Uh, but yeah, so he needs to deal with his feelings because he's seriously unhappy about everything. Uh, and he also sees that she's, uh, you know, not happy uh, as well. Uh, you know, uh, this could, you know, I'm telling you, take away the money and the honey would go. Right, okay, uh, so outcome uh, then, okay, uh, does uh, Harry want to divorce Megan right now? Does Harry want to divorce Megan? Oh, no, 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 not yet, no, 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 because, he, he, you know, he, he, he'd get a knife in the back. Honest to God, he wouldn't be able to sleep at night. Uh, he'd be on a, a, a... Look, I know there's pressure on him uh, to, to do it, but it, he's just too nervy and spineless uh, and a coward uh, at this point to do anything on his own back, okay? So uh, I, I'm getting a... Does he want to divorce her? No, okay, the ace of wands reversed is a big fat no, okay. Uh, so, <laughs> he's scared to death of her. He, he is scared of her, okay, because uh, he knows uh, what she could uh, do and how uncontrolled and unstable uh, she is. So, no, I'm afraid uh, Rose is not, uh, you know, going to uh, come back home uh, at all. I don't think he will ever, okay. He may divorce her uh, or they may get divorced, but... No, I, I just don't. Is there... No. So the answer's no. Okay, uh, so just as we thought then, isn't it? Okay. Right then, guys, uh, I'm going to uh, get off and uh, get this loaded for you. And uh, I'll be back shortly with another video. Uh, I, I'm just so pleased. Uh, thank you for, for all of you. You know, for all of you. Uh, you're really, really uh, making a difference uh, by subscribing uh, and liking me. And comments as well. Uh, but, you know, so have a great uh, few days because uh, I probably won't be... What day is it today? Tuesday. Oh, Tuesday. Yeah, oh, yes, today I'm going to see uh, my grandson. So, uh, yeah, it'll probably be Thursday now, okay? And uh, I might be able to squeeze in the Harry one uh, and his security, which was just uh, a lot of bullshit on his part. You know, he's lied, 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 lied. <gasps> okay, guys, uh, anyway. <laughs> oh, my God. God, I can't believe the devil card. I know I keep saying it, but I was shocked, shocked, shocked. Oh, my God. Do you know what? If I'd have intended that to happen, uh, it, it wouldn't have, you know. Anyway, okay. Anyway, guys, bye now. Bye-bye.